think you never outgrow your love of these stories of giants and ogres and witches and all of that. Superhero comics give you that for, for older people. Faster than a speeding bullet. One of the wonderfully appealing things about children is that they haven't yet come to the age where reality and unreality are divorced. More powerful than a locomotive. These comic book covers that you are seeing here are a sample of what the children of the United States are reading today. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. of these comic books are pouring off the presses every single month. Comic books and moving stories have been around since the dawn of humanity. Sequential stories have highlighted the victories of men, depicted the gods, brought political change, and been the idols for generations. Cave drawings were the first evidence of drawn stories. The style and calligraphy progressed to a new art in Egyptian culture, serving as their written language, depicting the greatness of emperors, personifying their burial rituals. Hieroglyphs in Egyptian art gave way to the phylacter, found in ancient tapestries and art forms, which gave way to the speech balloon. The Greeks came next with grandiose tales of the gods. Their oral traditions were immortalized in pot art, paintings, and sculptural narratives. In the 16th century, the world's largest sequential story was finished on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. This painting told stories of the Bible depicting life, creation, and heaven. Political cartoons first debuted with British cartoonist George Cruikshank's depictions of the American Rebellion. His work paved the way for first published American comic by Ben Franklin, entitled Join or Die. Publishing works in newspapers became very popular in America, giving way to such stories as Old Buck and the Yellow Kid in 1897, the first continuously published comic stories. Political cartoons still exist in newspapers today, satirizing just as much as they did when they were created. Soon comics exploded into the world of newspapers, becoming weekly and then daily additions to the paper. Easily the most iconic of these is Peanuts, which kicked off other comic book legends like Archie, Dilbert, Garfield, and Calvin and Hobbes. The first female published comic strip was Brenda Starr in the 1940s, speaking volumes to the art form's ability to relate to everyone. By the 50s, comic strip humor had become a staple with the American humor magazine, Mad. Superheroes emerged in the world of comic strips. They are the first stories not made for humor. After the horrors of World War I and in the middle of the Great Depression, society once again needed heroes. America's youth needed inspiration, which came in the form of an all-powerful Man of Steel in 1938. Superman was the first of these iconic superheroes, with absolute power bordering godliness. He was an idol of hope for everyone. Dynamic duo against crime and corruption. 
whose real identity is millionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne and his young ward Dick Grayson are known only to Alfred the faithful butler. Ever alert, they respond swiftly to a signal from the police. And moments later, from the secret bat cave deep beneath Wayne Manor, they roar out to protect life, limb, and property as Batman and Robin, Cape Crime Fighters. Batman and Robin, scourge of Gotham City's kooky criminals. The Joker, clown prince of crime. The Penguin, pudgy purveyor of perfidy. And the cool, cruel Mr. Freeze. With an influx of crime from the Great Depression and the overbearing fictional greatness of Superman, debuted the resourceful, intuitive Batman. Unlike his predecessor, Batman had no inhuman powers, but rather represented justice with his brilliance and strength. With so many idols for males, Wonder Woman emerged as a strong heroine to guide the girls of America. All the world is waiting for Debuting in the heart of the Cold War, amidst other global conflicts, the Justice League became the premier example of using force to create peaceful resolutions and using the powers of good to unite the world, the ultimate United Nations. When the world began moving towards another war, the importance of superheroes dramatically increased, and American patriotism became embodied by Captain America. His mighty shield supported the fighting youth of America and gave a new face to warfare. After the dropping of two nuclear bombs at the conclusion of World War II, comic books began to incorporate nuclear phenomena as an explanation for superpowers. Two prime examples are Spider-Man, who was bitten by a radioactive spider, and the Hulk, that was involved in a nuclear accident. Nuclear diplomacy remained a theme in comic books, generally serving as the major crisis. Technology as a destructive global force led to the creation of Iron Man, attempting to display technology as a source for justice, if properly controlled, rather than violence. Graphic novels began to receive more recognition when in 1986 both Watchmen and Mouse were recognized in the top 10 works of literature of the year. In Japan, their own form of comics called manga featured their own stories and superheroes. The first hero of Japan was called Astro Boy. The cast of Dragon Ball Z became the Japanese equivalent of the Justice League. Manga became so popular that certain series were made for adults too, such as Roroni Kenshin and Neon Genesis Evangelion.